Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. I got a cajon today. 130 bucks at Long McQuaid. It's made by Pearl. It's called the Music Genre Premiero, I guess. Cajon. Anyways, so it's got all different music genres listed on it. They've got a few different ones. They got uh, something with dynamite on it. Uh, they got one with coffee beans. And these are kind of like a, a crate style as well. So you've got crate style right and uh i saw this there and i'm like that's really cool because like a lot of other things i've been looking at one of these things for a while um uh, i can't fit uh an, even an electric drum kit in here anymore unless i sacrificed a few more things and it's like hey i need all the other stuff in here so let's try and make something a little bit simpler and maybe get some sort of a drum thing going for some stuff um so these are not without their limitations obviously but they do have some things you can do which is a lot of fun you can actually get a kick pedal that uh and there's different types and styles depending on your requirements right uh, but they do have one that um it's got a clamp that slides underneath clamps at the other end to hold the the, the main kick piece there and then you've got a cable coming across to a, a foot pedal just like a kick drum right so you can you know do your beat that way or what have you right a lot of different styles, different costs, and they are not cheap. Uh, even the one that I'm looking at, uh, which is the one that I would prefer, um, is going to cost me almost twice as much as what I paid for the Cajon. So I'm kind of thinking, yeah, not right now, right? We'll do what we do, and we'll use this thing this way for now. And uh, so these things don't all sound the same, so... You really do have to go to a music store that or do a lot of YouTube research if you're going to order one in and figure out, you know, what you like the sound of from whatever you hear in a video, right? And hopefully you picked correctly by the time you actually hear it in real life because, as you know, YouTube does compress our stuff. So I am shooting this video, by the way, on my iPhone with only its own built-in mics, something a little bit different and... Um, we're gonna see how this turns out. But uh, this will help me with some of my other music. Again, I can make up my own beats because there are limitations with stuff that's in Logic or GarageBand that I use on the Mac, among other files that I have set aside from various sources for beats, including my Beat Buddy. This thing will allow me to do some of my own experimental beats for different types of stuff. And um, anyway, so we're going to do a little bit of a demo for you and then we'll just take it from there. So there's uh, different ways I've been looking up on how you play these things because you do have that, you know, a bit of a snare kind of thing going on. So you will get different tones. You can even uh, do this thing. The girl called it a cricket or something, I guess. I mean, there's probably something more to it that gives it the whole cricket thing that she nicknamed it. But I also saw another video where a guy shows how to do this and using your heel. even the side of the box and you can use your knuckles and fingertips and depending on how the springs are set up depends on how sensitive even this area is right in here To like lean over and go down here unless you wanted to i suppose maybe you got long arms right and if you cup your hand it kind of makes a little bit more thumpy hollow sound but flat I 
I got obviously a lot of practicing to do, but who doesn't when you're trying a new toy out, right? And uh, anyways, so this was not something that uh, was able to be rented from Long McQuaid because it's brand spanking new and it's also not on the preferred rental list. Um, had it been new and on the preferred rental, I could have rented it, but not rentable. Besides, 130 bucks took up the rest of my budget, but <laughs> uh, that means just my wireless uh, guitar kit I wanted. It's going to have to wait another month, but hey, I don't care because um, this gives me something to have more fun with. But you can actually make this sound once you learn how to do the different things around you can get like a tom sound plus your plus your uh snare you can get almost like a hi-hat sound out of it if you do it right uh plus of course your kick drum is there as well right and like i said you can also do the heel thing right um all kinds of little things you can do now there are many different styles of uh, cajones as well. There's one that's actually like, kind of like a T shape, uh, so it looks like a tabletop surface, and then it's got like the box in the middle down below, and that's a funky one. I gotta look that one up on YouTube and see how that one's played. Um, not something that I would buy though because it's kind of just not in my interest category. I like this thing. I can just sit on it, and it's great, and it keeps me up. And actually, my feet sit nice and flat too, so it's like perfect height, you know. But um, yeah, so there's a, a porthole in the back of these things that allows more of the sound and the airflow for the bass to really throb out of there, plus the main sound as well. Um, so yeah, you can even buy Cajon kits and build your own. Um, they're about 80 bucks, you know. Now keep in mind, these are all Canadian prices. Um, but for 80 bucks, you can buy a Cajon kit, build your own. And it's like, I'm kind of giving that a little bit of thought maybe for a summer project. Uh, maybe I'll buy one or two of them and build my own and maybe do a little bit of mods on the one to kind of make it a little bit more unique and then the other one just do my own thing. Um, I don't know how physically big they are for wids, but if I could actually pull it off and kind of somehow attach the two and have, you know, one with springs and the other side without and maybe make another little modification somewhere else, kind of make something unique out of it, right? Um, that'd be kind of neat, but... Um, We'll have to see what happens. But I like this. This is kind of a, a me thing, you know, like <laughs> it's got a lot of different genres of music on here. Um, at least two or three that I'm not really into, but the majority of them, yeah, right? Um, and it has kind of that antique vibe look to the thing as well. Uh, and it's got a neat little burst um, from the top where you sit, um, which I kind of like. And, um, I just thought, man, this is so neat. And it goes even with the wood uh, the wood color of my floor in here. And it's just, it's different. The only drawback to this, I can't play this and my guitar at the same time. Uh, other than if I have the bass kicker, um, then I could actually pull it off. Um, and I'm thinking if there's a way to uh, maybe get like two of those, those bass kickers, uh, one for each foot, then I could actually have one actually hit up here when the other one's hitting down below for the bass. And then I could actually kind of do that and play guitar, kind of a one man band kind of thing, you know what I mean? Um, that could actually work out. Uh, the other thing is other additional little gizmos. This is actually a, um, a foot tambourine. So I could actually take this and also quiet it down by just using my heel. like 
playing bongos, but a little bit differently, right? Not quite the same, but anyways, that's the fun and excitement. It's worth $130 all day long in my books. I mean, these things can get, can get really expensive to buy. Uh, all depends on what you're going after. But for $130, I thought, eh, that's a pretty good deal. And it's something that I really love the looks of. You know, because for me, I have to like the looks of an instrument in this case uh, in order to buy it. You know, but it takes more than just looks. I was actually sitting down, uh, checking it out, and there was a guy there that plays drums he's in there all the time he's kind of like me we both virtually live at long mcquade right they still won't give us you know rooms on the back or anything it's like come on guys you save us thousands of dollars that's why they don't give us a place to live on the back right because they want our money but anyways this guy's a fantastic drummer and i've been getting to know him over the last while because usually i'm in there playing on a guitar and rocking out and he'll join in or whatever type of thing we have a good old time Anyway, so <laughs> he's playing on the one kit today, and I'm sitting there beside him. We're yakking, and I start, you know, copying what he's doing, right? And it's like, he thought that was kind of cool. It's like, yeah, man, let's keep doing this. And I kind of missed it a few times, but, you know, because he'd do a roll all of a sudden. So I have to try and listen for when that was going to happen. So it was kind of fun. So I was doing, you know, and, and it made it easier to have somebody on the drums and I'm playing along with them with the same kind of thing. And that is fun. But um, yeah, these things are fantastic. So even if you're like busking and stuff and, you know, maybe, you know, you play this and somebody plays the guitar, right? You can just, you have a bit of a beat thing going, right? Uh, if you're doing, I don't know what kind of music, whatever you want to do, but a familiar beat to me would be... Um, No, not quite like that. I kind of missed it. But anyways, you get the idea, right? Um, but yeah, very inexpensive to buy. Great thing to start out with, at least. Um, I don't really think there's too much of a thing where they call beginner or advanced models of these. It's kind of like, what's your wood preference? How much do you want to spend? What's your sound preference even? Because they don't all sound the same. They're different woods and stuff, right? And uh, some of them have two springs in them. Some have three, whatever. So it makes a big difference on how that's going to work. Um, and like I said, different shapes of these things too. It's just wild, eh? And uh, so you can't really say there's much in the way of downsides to these things, to be honest. Um, it's kind of, you know, is it going to work for what you're going to do, right? Or maybe you need a different one. Or maybe you need three or four or five of these things. Who knows? Because like I said, they're not all going to sound the same. They're going to be different, different features about them. Uh, this one, I believe, has got about a four, four and a quarter or four and a half inch hole in it. Um, I'm just checking the website as we're sitting here because I think they, they mention it there. Um, probably at the manufacturer's website. Um, but I did see this one on YouTube and it was like four point something inches. And they have one that's just under six inch hole uh, in the back. And then they've got a different this and different that. And it's like... That's a little confusing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but it, it's it, it's best that if you're looking at something like this, go to your local music store, wherever you are, and that carries these cajones, and try a few of them out and see, you know, like if you find one that you like. And even check YouTube videos. So if you're after something specific and you know you like that, then get them to bring one in if they don't have one in stock. And then, you know, before you pay for it, try it and make sure it's got that sound um, and uh, you should be all right. So um, really no real negatives to report uh, on this. Um, I just don't see where there's any drawbacks as far as you know build quality and construction. It seems to be fantastic. Um, you know, the sound, I like the sound of it. So that's not something that I would change. I like the style. I like the silk screening they did on the front. Um, the whole thing, right? Uh, so I kind of really like this thing. But nothing's perfect, right? So you're not getting a five star out of me ever. But I will definitely give this a four and a half for sure. I think it deserves a full-fledged four and a half. 
Highly recommend it if this is what you are into for this kind of machine. Do you like this genre of it? Or would you much prefer TNT or the coffee beans or some other model? It's up to you in the end. Like I said, they're not all going to be the same. They're not all going to sound the same, you know, because they just don't, right? So you got to kind of pick the one that has the tones for you that you would want to play on, right? Because, I mean, you can do stuff like this and change things too, but, you know, you can play the side of the box as well. There's a lot of things that goes into this. It's not as confusing as drums, though, which is kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of your preference. But I think it's priced well. You get a lot for your money here. Um, the You can buy a carry bag. Mind you, the carry bag is $82.50 Canadian for the pearl bag to carry this thing in if you're going to take it portable and you want it safe. Um, otherwise, just throw it in the back of your car and away you go kind of thing, right? Um, I'm not going to bother with a carry bag because I won't be taking this out of the house. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to ask uh, our pastor if I could actually borrow uh, the one that we have at the church because nobody plays it anyways. And then I could do a comparison for you guys between what we have there and this one. Um, and I can also see the difference myself between the two um as well to see how much different they are because i don't remember what it sounded like i i i played on it a couple of times at church myself it's kind of like i don't remember it was like about a year ago i think was the last time i touched that thing um and uh so i'll, I'll see and then i'll do a video for you guys and show you the one that we have because i think it's still a current selling one uh that you can still get so they would give you another comparison uh for that we will do also a video that's going to be Definitely better quality microphones other than an iPhone. But I'm kind of curious how this would have worked on the iPhone. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is the sound quality really good? Um, because the phone is about seven feet away from me. Uh, so. But uh, anyways. So there you go. Um, that's all I got. So thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.